Lean Bean is a branded combination supplement being marketed for weight loss, specifically for women. But does it work and is it safe to use? Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young, a naturopathic doctor in Toronto. We'll take a deeper look into popular brands of weight loss supplements, so subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date if you're interested. Let's take a look at Lean Bean for weight loss. Let's first take a look at the ingredients. Here are the doses per capsule. The recommended dosing is two capsules with at least one to two glasses of water three times per day, 30 minutes before breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So a total of six capsules per day. There are quite a few ingredients here, so let's analyze the ingredients one at a time. Vitamin B6 and B12. The B vitamins, particularly B6 or B12, are essential vitamins used by the body for fat metabolism. Vitamin B6 can be found in nearly all foods, from vegetables to fruits to meats to whole grains. And vitamin B12 is usually found in animal protein like meat, milk, or eggs. Supplementing vitamin B12 is a good recommendation for vegetarians or vegans since they tend to be deficient. Deficiencies in these vitamins can lead to impaired fat metabolism. However, the doses of B6 and B12 provided by Lean Bean are so minuscule that most children's multivitamin gummies have more B vitamins than them. They do use methylcobalamin for their form of B12, which is better absorbed than the cheaper cyanocobalamin form, so I'll give them that. But again, the dose here is too small to make a difference. If you are deficient in B6 or B12, I would recommend just taking a regular B6 or B12 supplement. Chromium. Research that looks at chromium for weight loss is not clear. It might be helpful for those with insulin resistance issues like those with diabetes or PCOS, but even in those cases, the amount of weight lost is modest at best, with around one pound lost over a few months. Unfortunately, those studies use around 200 micrograms per day. Lean Bean provides 35 micrograms, so we're about five to six times too short. Zinc. Zinc is another essential mineral used by the body for fat metabolism and blood insulin regulation. It's found in a lot of animal proteins as well as whole grains, nuts, and beans. Like vitamin B12, supplementation is sometimes recommended for vegetarians or vegans, and deficiencies in this mineral can lead to impaired fat metabolism. Deficient individuals are typically recommended to supplement around 100 milligrams per day. Again, Lean Bean provides only 11 milligrams per day, so would not even be sufficient to supplement deficient individuals. Potassium. I'm not sure why this is here, the amounts are absolutely minuscule and potassium has no known effects on weight. Glucomannan. This is likely the most effective part of the supplement. Glucomannan or cognac fiber is a type of soluble fiber. It absorbs water and bulks out the stomach, making it useful for helping to reduce overeating and managing appetite. Here, the dose used is actually sufficient, with most studies using 1 to 3 grams with each meal, and Lean Bean provides 1 gram with each meal. So, I would expect Lean Bean to work much like any generic glucomannan supplement and help to manage hunger when taken with meals. Choline. Choline is a nutrient most associated with nerve health and cognition. It's associated with fat metabolism, but there is no evidence that supplementing it into your diet is going to increase weight loss. Choline is found in many types of meat, fish, dairy, and eggs, so deficiency in North America is rare. Also, the recommended intake is 400 to 500 milligrams per day. The dose in lean bean is 82.5 milligrams. Garcinia Kambocha Extract. Garcinia kombucha is a herbal product that may have some small effects on weight based on a small number of studies by helping to control appetite. The evidence is somewhat contradictory with some studies showing no effects. However, this might not matter much since you need around 1000 to 5000 milligrams per day for it to be effective. Lean bean provides a measly 100 milligrams, so you're getting 10 times less. The Garcinia is likely not doing much in this formulation. I will give props to the fact that their extract is standardized, meaning it does have some of the active compounds, they just didn't put nearly enough. Green Coffee Bean Extract 
green coffee extracts contain chlorogenic acids. Studies seem to suggest that supplementation of these compounds may have some small effects on weight. The studies use doses anywhere from 90 to 1000 mg of green coffee extract. Lean bean provides only 50 mg, so I'm not sure it would be helpful. Again, props for standardizing the extract, but there's probably too little to be useful. Turmeric. There's some weak evidence to suggest that turmeric might help with weight loss, however the effective doses used in those trials were 1000 mg per day or above. The 50 mg per day lean bean provides is just not gonna cut it. Acai berry extract. There's no good evidence to suggest that acai berry or its extracts are useful for weight loss, especially at a tiny dose of 20 mg. Biopurine. Biopurine is a patented extract of piperine, a compound found in pepper that's responsible for its peppery flavor. There's some belief that piperine can in some way help with weight loss by stimulating metabolism. Unfortunately, the research doesn't appear to reflect this, so based on what we know, its effects on weight are likely insignificant. Piperine is also sometimes used in combination supplements to help improve the absorption of other components within the supplement, such as turmeric. So it might be to help improve the absorption of the 50 mg of turmeric, although 50 mg is still far too little to have any effect on weight. Side Effects and Concerns from the listed ingredients, the ingredient that's most likely to cause people problems would be the glucomannan. As a soluble fiber, it can be quite thick and cause some people constipation if they don't drink enough water. So I would definitely follow the dosing instructions to take it with 1-2 to two glasses of water. Most soluble fibers are relatively safe to take, although glucomannan might cause some people minor gastrointestinal upsets like gas, bloating, or mild abdominal pain. Gastrointestinal obstructions and blockages are possible when taking a soluble fiber supplement, so if you have medical issues that put you at risk of an obstruction, like abdominal surgeries or Crohn's disease, make sure you check with your doctor before you try it. Is it effective? It appears that the primary way lean bean would work, if it did at all, would be as a soluble fiber. Glucomannan can help bulk out your stomach before a meal, helping you to eat less and control overeating. Some of the other ingredients might have had some use in weight loss. Unfortunately, the doses in lean bean fall far short of their effective doses, meaning they likely won't have the intended or additional effects on weight loss. Is it worth it? In my opinion, lean bean is essentially an overpriced glucomannan supplement with traces of a few B vitamins and minerals. Like any glucomannan supplements, if you find that having a fuller stomach helps you to eat less, this supplement might be somewhat useful. But if you stress eat or are prone to emotional eating, these types of supplements are not likely going to help. Lean Bean attempts to combine a few supplements that might be of additional help to individuals trying to lose weight. However, the doses that it uses effectively limit it to just a glucomannan fiber supplement. Lean Bean is pretty expensive, with a 180 pill bottle costing 40 pounds, which is about $70 Canadian. Because you're taking 6 per day, that's about $70 per month. Taking a generic cognac fiber or glucomannan supplement will cost around $5 to $6 per month. Add on a multivitamin, which is about $6 to $7 per month, and you can essentially mimic what Lean Bean provides for about $11 to $13 per month just by supplementing them individually. Despite the marketing, nothing in this supplement makes it specifically focused towards women. There doesn't seem to be anything in it that would be extra beneficial for women or make it unsuitable for men. If you do decide to try it, always keep in mind that taking it without a proper weight loss diet or lifestyle is not likely going to have any effects on your weight whatsoever. So if you're not ready to modify your dietary and lifestyle habits, don't bother with it. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below about what you think. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know can use the help.